don't have to be a historian to explore or preserve the past. You just have to be curious, self-motivated, and maybe willing to get your hands dirty. Storyteller Aaron Valley introduces us to one Lovington man who has turned his curiosity into a lifelong hobby. You know, what I really love about this guy is that He's self-educated and with books. He doesn't use the internet. He has a great library for this hobby I'm about to tell you about. With hundreds of artifacts ranging from arrowheads to pottery, here's how one local is connecting with his ancestry and the land he grew up on. Lovington local Randy Fair says it might be the Cherokee in him. I have it in my blood. But sometimes, while out searching for relics of Native Americans, nature chimes in. I can be out hunting arrowheads in the middle of a field and have a white tail or a red tail hawk flying above me screaming and squalling and talking, that tells me to slow down. Nine times out of ten, I'll find a piece. Randy says his fascination for arrowheads, Native American axes, and beads comes from his admiration of his great-grandmother, who was full Cherokee. As a young teenager, Randy spent time walking near water sources in Moultrie County, searching for arrowheads. Back in the day, when farmers deep plowed, Randy said he could find 20 arrowheads in a field like this one. Today, we're just happy to find some flint. Here's a chip. Which indigenous people used to make tools. I don't know, it's a habit, I guess. People collect things from prior civilizations, and they always will, they always have. But of all the artifacts Randy has in his collection, it's the pottery he's most proud of. Just amazing to think that that could last as many years as it does. Randy says his pottery is mostly from the Mississippian era, which lasted from 800 to 1600 AD. And he's always on the lookout for ceramics from our state. He says Illinois pottery is rare and only has about 10 Illinois pieces in his collection. You'll see 500 pieces from uh, Arkansas, Missouri, before you'll see one from Illinois. He says much of the Illinois pottery comes from Cokia Mounds, where a massive 13th century Native American city used to be. Or the Illinois River. Each ceramic tells a story of a woman hundreds of years ago who'd take a basket and go down to the riverbank to dig for clay. She'd mix the clay with mussel shells and sometimes bone to keep it from cracking. They didn't have a potter's wheel either to turn them on. Yeah. They done that with paddles in their hands. A pit of fire in the ground acted as a kiln. And when the vases and bowls were finished, women would use them to store water and serve food. I like the pottery because the women made the pottery. Women, you know, didn't, uh, they didn't get a whole lot of credit for much of anything, even though they pretty much kept everything together like they do now. But no matter the relic or the relic's purpose, Randy says it's about the connection he feels to the person who once called these vases and tools their own. Well, when you find the first one and you pick it up and you just kind of stop and think, you wondered about the man that lost it. Randy told me that one day he'd like to donate some of his collection to the Moultrie County Historical Society in Sullivan. He says preservation is very important to him, and so is sharing this history with people across central Illinois. Okay, that flint or whatever he found, that was like minuscule. I don't, his eye is so good. I don't know how he does it. It's so impressive. I mean, you can spot it from like feet away. As a kid, Smash I remember it. with my friends, we were like, oh, we're going to find arrowheads, and, and all we found was pointy rocks. Hmm. There, I don't think we ever found an actual... Arrowhead. arrowhead but we tried yeah and he can tell like even if some of the arrowheads are a little more deformed like he can tell like oh this was definitely an arrowhead when i would just see a rock right so it was wow. pretty amazing how like educated he was all by himself wow and what a collection my goodness he's got a lot of stuff i know cool apartment you walk in and i'm like what's going on in here <laughs> <laughs> and that was a viewer submitted story idea aaron's always looking for your ideas to share for um unique people and places around here in central illinois so thank you to the viewer yeah for sure thanks all right stay living.tv we'll find your stories yes ma'am <laughs>